Hey guys, what is going on? My name <coughs> is, uh, I, don't, I still don't know what my name is on this channel. This is my, so this this may be some uh, your, your first video that you're watching from me on this channel because I know it's like a new reveal and we're, we're going to be doing a little a little trailer and gameplay reacting here and talking about what's going to be going on. Uh, but I, um, I still don't know what I'm, I'm, I'm calling, I, I'm NoahJ456, but this is NoahJ AFK channel. We, we still don't know what's going on with that business, but none of that matters now because now in one minute, in 33 seconds, 32, 31, 30, we are going to be taking a look at the first ever Destiny 2 gameplay reveal. There have been two trailers so far, I believe. It was the, uh, the, the kind of like, uh, the first trailer that was kind of the minute long one with, uh, Kate Six talking in the bar and everything like that. And then we had, uh, we had the second trailer, which was Zavala and then the kind of like the pep talks and everything like that. Um, so... Yeah, we're, we're one minute away from seeing our ac first actual gameplay, seeing what this reveal stream is all about. I'm really, really, really excited for this, guys. I hope you guys are as well. And, uh, man, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. See your eyes bleeding? Yeah, my eye, my, I had eye surgery recently, so if my eye starts bleeding at any point during this, this just excuse my eyeball, just don't look at it, please. Uh, that'd be That'd be perfect. You, you can hear the crowd in the background. What sucks is I was actually invited to this event, but I'm not able to go because I'm graduating tomorrow. So I could literally be playing and recording Destiny 2. Like, obviously I'd be watching the premiere right now, but I could literally be playing and recording Destiny 2 a little bit later today. But unfortunately I couldn't go because of uh, graduation. So RIP in pieces. But anyway, 15 seconds left. Let's start get that, getting that countdown in the chat. And uh, let's get ready, man. Uh, hold on, I wanna see how many people are watching live right now on the Twitch. 400,000. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. What makes a guardian a guardian? Take our first breath with no memory of who we were before. Yet, we are inexorably drawn to the light. We fight. We die. And we live again. chosen for a reason, by something greater than ourselves. For as deep and wide as humanity's rivers have run, it has now been reduced to a precious few, needing something to believe in, and a place to call home. Dude, the this graphics is on this what trailer. we've been called to, the future that we fight for. The future we will protect. Shaped by the fires of each new battle, we are forged and sharpened into what we must become for the fight ahead. Oh, snap! <laughs> <laughs> what we have built is only the beginning, a symbol of what we can achieve, of who we are and our great purpose here. But the day may come when we will be tested. When all we hold dear is threatened. And then we will see what each of us is truly made of. Dang, dude. <clears throat> that really puts, like, it's gonna be the the kind of premise is that the the last the last city and everything like that gets destroyed. That that puts some weight on that dude. It's not just like oh it just popped up. Oh it's Luke. 
All right, let's get into the gameplay. That day has arrived. That day we've been waiting for. When we were talking about the slide setup for today, we've got a pretty cool presentation. We're like, hey, Luke, what do you want to put behind you? We're up on the stage. I said, like, yeah, just can you put like a big ass two? Just, yeah. <laughs> Huge. It's like the, yeah, the giant. The reason why is because the two is a reminder. It's a reminder that Destiny 2 is going to be a new beginning for everyone. It's a convergence of veteran players like yourselves and new players into our universe. Oh, it's was, a chance uh, for us to like first the person game like actual gameplay. Like the PC, where Destiny 2 will be available oh, for snap. the first time. Wait, did they already confirm that? <laughs> Either way, I'll be playing on PC. I knew it was like leaked and everything. I don't know if they confirmed it yet. And or that if that other room that you're going to go to when we're done here this morning, it's over there to play. It's got all kinds of cool stuff in it. We think it's pretty amazing. I'm sure you're going to tell us what you think about it, too. I know. Read about it on Reddit. <laughs> to us, a sequel just represents an opportunity to start fresh. It represents a chance to welcome new players into our worlds, into the amazing Destiny community that we're all a part of. The second thing I'm going to talk about this morning is the game plan. I am the last barrier between you and seeing the game <sighs> is the vision for Destiny 2. As we've been building this game, there have been three things that are rattling around our heads. Just three. Those are the things that the team and I are going to be talking about this morning and sharing with you. The first one is a world that pulls you in. This is about having a story you can relate to. It's about having characters that you want to, be, you want to hang out with, characters you want to, you want to work with. And this is about having enemies, of course, enemies you want to face. It's about the way we build our environments at Bungie. We want to create experiences that make you seek what's around every corner. That, that's the first part. The second thing is we want to build amazing things to do. And this, is, just, this is amazing things to do for everyone, no it's matter fun. your mood. If you're a solo player, in Destiny 2 today, we're going to talk about how we're changing the way exploring the world works. If you're a competitive player, I'm sure there are some people who enjoy Crucible in the audience. I saw, I saw Triple Wreck on a flight. If you're a competitive player, we've, we've rethought the Crucible from first principles. We're, we're moving all activities in PvP to be 4v4. We've rebuilt the sandbox in a bunch of ways oh, for smaller team four. formats. We've, we've oh, done this snap. because we want to create a sense of mastery. In order to master anything, you need to understand it. And that understandability comes from a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to get your hands on later this morning. That's weird. 4v4 Crucible, The third so part here is cooperative. Everyone knows. I like the cooperative part of Destiny. And in Destiny 2, we have a ton of new public events. We have brand new strikes. And of course, there's a brand new raid. And we're going to show it right now. No, we're not. <laughs> Such course, a right? troll. Let us see the gameplay. I love you, Luke. I talked about the Luke, raid but... last because it leads me to my third point this morning, which is about there's always someone to play with. This is a big one for us. The raids in Destiny 1 couldn't be experienced by everyone. 50% of people who reached the level cap organized into fire teams and completed a raid. This is amazing. Like, I think this is almost a miracle. Because whether you did it through your friends list or the communities that you formed, or used out of game applications to build fire teams and take on these incredible challenges, or as I know, pull the network cable from Crota. <laughs> I know, that's like a year one deep cut. <laughs> so is that. Uh, but that means tons of players 50% never had the opportunity to experience Destiny's most unique content. And that miracle that I talked about, the half of you who've played, that's not good enough for Destiny 2. So this morning, we're going to talk about how Trials, the Nightfall, and the Raids will finally be available to all players. Destiny 2's vision... <laughs> it's like, do we, do we clap for that? Everyone in that audience is professionals, Destiny players, dude. They're all Destiny YouTubers and streamers and people who are coming in. Destiny game. 2's vision boils down to this really simple <clears throat> statement. Yeah, it's so I guess matchmaking? I Seems like matchmaking. When I go there, there's always amazing things for, for me like to do. Rates. And if so. I want, there's always someone for me to play with. On behalf of Bungie and our partners at Activision, thank you so much to the people in the audience who made the trip. Thank you so much to the people out in the chat spamming Senpai or whatever the emotes the kids are using these days. <laughs> I don't know. I'm too old for that. And to everyone else who spent any time in our <laughs> worlds, thank you. The wait is over. This is Destiny 2, and this is Homecoming. Oh, let's see it. Yes, dude. I'm so excited. Okay, please be actual gameplay. 
I, I love the trailers, but I want to see real gameplay. Hey, Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? Ikoro, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. And comms have been spotty for the last few hours. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Hmm. Maybe it's just the storm. Maybe it's... What are the set feeds telling us? Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean, they're not there. There are no satellites. And that's not good. <laughs> I love Kate 6. Battle stations! Oh, snap. The Cabal. The Cabal have arrived. Everyone with me. That was sick. The Traveler? Oh snap, this is in- that was in-game? Oh my- wait, what? That was in-game- that wasn't like a- Dude! Oh! Don't put the past the gate. The EMAC shuttles are back there. The are well trained, but we are better. We will hold this line until the last civilian is signaling. Dude! Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Aim down your sights is triggering me. This hip fire is triggering me. <laughs> Dude! Oh my gosh! That arc blade though. Yo, what is this ability? <laughs> that was so sick. The last of the shuttles is away. But the speaker, he never made it. I'm going to look for him. I've got the plaza. Go with my core. Find the speaker. We're on it, Commander. Dude, this looks insane. Oh, he's still there! He's still there, the sweeper robot! <laughs> oh, snap, this looks so insane. Gone. Red Legion, you will take no more from us, and you will find no mercy in me. Dude, Akora doesn't give no Fs. She'll find the speaker. We need to move on the command ship. Now head to the North Tower. I'm sending Bro, I cannot get over the graphics. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a new, new area of the tower I've never seen before. Yeah. 
Yo! <laughs> what is that? Command is inbound. Shield drop you on the command ship. Dude, what is this? What is this other ability? I, I, oh. Healing Rift. Oh, that's sick. So there's three abilities now Someone instead of two. Or four, I guess, in counting the super. Zavala, you picked up that guardian you never showed up about? Hit them on that command ship. Now! Hold on back there! Wait, are we on the ship now? <laughs> Dude, the integrated cutscenes in the gameplay are so sick. Dude, I hope every single mission has these integrated cutscenes. That's so cool. Okay. The shield generator should be at the bottom of the ship. The base gameplay looks pretty darn similar. Oh, okay, hello. What kind of gun is that? Apparently it's freaking with Dude, the, the weaponry looks amazing. What's your status? Uh, low on ammo. All flaming fist. Trap burning out. Anyone from Akora? That's the switch for the speaker. Bomb up! For me! So does the ghost have a voice or no? Oh, these dudes. I never knew how to pronounce their names, nor do I want to know. Pa empowering Rift. So now it says Empowering Rift instead of Healing Rift. That is that a sec is it a secondary? No 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 that's the heavy. That hover though. Oh my goodness. No one's having a field day right now, dude. I love this. Oh, is this the, is this the secondary? Bruh. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that thing melts, bro. All right, he's got all his all his abilities up. Dude, the supercharge is pretty darn fast. Even without doing anything. The shield generator should be straight ahead. Oh my gosh, dude. It looks so much more cinematic than before. Like, insanely more cinematic than before. I feel like the story will actually be good. That like It won't just be like monotonous grinding. It'll actually like have a point to playing it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. If the... Thanks. If the giant burning two isn't enough of a clue, spoilers, we lose. Despite the awesomeness of the Dawnblade we just looked at, we're defeated in our backyard. Earth's last safe city is safe no more.
Destiny 2 is a game that opens with loss. In one fell swoop, players will lose their powers, they'll oh. lose their home, and maybe the saddest of all, they will lose their vaults. <laughs> just, I just need a minute for Fatebringer. Okay. And it's all taken by Dominus Gaul, the leader of the Red Legion, who you just got introduced to at the end. Gaul, or Gary, as he's sometimes referred to. Gaul is here for a simple reason. He's been raised since he was just like a little turtle, just a little guy, to believe that he and the Red Legion should have been chosen to receive the Traveler's power. Gaul believes in a better class of guardian. He's here because he believes the Traveler, in choosing us, made the wrong choice. And in Destiny 2, Gaul intends to show the Traveler the error of its ways. It's Humanity, us, by killing it. <laughs> the game opens with loss and becomes a game about recovery. Recover your powers. Become strong again. Reclaim your connection to the Traveler and find powerful new gear, weapons, armor. Recover the Vanguard. Those three characters we just saw, Zavala, Cade, and Akora, they're all dealing with this loss just like we are and in different ways. Zavala, the leader of this whole thing, is having an existential crisis. He's wondering things like, without the light, are we even guardians? Although it's like, it's Zavala's voice, not mine, so it's way more awesome. It's way better. Ikor is angry. The warlocks who like, value so much of their connection to the Traveler and knowledge, one of those two things has been taken away. So in her rage, she's fled. We we'll have to find her. And then Cade, sort of plucky, Hunter leader, Cade goes off and does the least expected thing of all. He goes off and tries to be a hero. And what happens next is pretty expected, because it goes totally sideways. Let's oh, take a closer Cade, look at the character. game scenario and the things you're going to chase <clears throat> in Destiny 2. Oh, snap, more assets? Oh, let's go. Hey, you two, give me a sec. Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. <laughs> Destiny 2 tells a brand new story. What happens when a world full of superheroes loses their powers, their history, and a home? Since Destiny 1 released, there's been no foe that they could stand before and not tip over. Whether it's Crota, Oryx, Spider Monsters, Whatever, but in the opening of Destiny 2, Dude, I hope the raids are there is insane. In fact a foe who has the power to not only take oh, dude, look at the, the traveler to take your power away. I go under light. Is the light. Dominus Gaul is a cabal warlord who has brought with him the Red Legion and has come to our system to. Take the traveler's powers, the light, take it for himself. Dude. Gaul's jealous. He so wants cool. to have the light. He wants to be chosen. Gaul is a different villain. He's not a psychopath who just wants to erase humanity off the face of the earth. He feels like this is something that is owed to him because of everything he's been through. He's a villain who you're like, yeah, this guy kind of has his stuff together. He's more like uh, Alan Rickman's character from Die Hard. <laughs> like, minus all the Britishness. The protector itself, the traveler, is put in a cage, and in an instant, all guardians lose their light. Unexpected and irreversible. You can no longer go back to the tower. You can no longer even walk. All you can do is stumble. Nobody expected that light could be taken away once it was given. The city has been lost, and the vanguard's been cast out, and you are the hero of this story. Whether you're a titan, a warlock, or hunter, hunter. you have to go out. Hunter master is. Back and take back the city. Hunter! Oh, look at that SMG, dude! Oh. Whether you're playing Destiny today or it's gonna be your first foray into the franchise, Destiny 2 is a new adventure for everyone. It's a fresh start for all players. Destiny 2 has an all-new cinematic campaign. 
there's more cinematics than we've ever had before. I think. How long before the fleets come back? <laughs> well, it's not really hard to up, up the cinematics from like three, but I do. I, I appreciate it either way. Adventure and there's going to be people <laughs> talking to you. Let's bring them home, you and I. All new worlds to explore. Dude, that place looks Whopping sick. Strikes for three players, new nightfall strikes, and a brand new raid. Yes, sir. And in Destiny 2, we built you all new weapons, all new armor, and a pile of brand new exotics. We also redesigned the weapon slots. They're gonna have a kinetic weapon, an energy weapon, and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like fusion rifles and sniper rifles and grenade launchers. In that energy slot, in the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapons. The new weapon plan was designed to provide players with more freedom, and more choice to use the stuff that they love. Dude, was that an exotic grenade launcher? New supers, and they're really changing the way it feels to play the game. We have the Dawnblade. You can cast your super, You've got your sword and you're flying over everyone and you can just rain down fire phoenix projectiles that just decimate people. Yo, what's the new hunter super though? Then you have the sentinel. The it's sentinel titan. is a titan and he is able to summon a shield that he can just knock his opponents out with. We can throw his shield and just bang it off dude's heads. And then you have the arc strider. Oh yeah, they okay, so it's not the arc blade. Staff and wield it like a crazy acrobat, cracking enemies in the head. It's awesome. Dude, did you see those new like dog enemies? There were like little dog enemies there. The idea of losing your home and being cast out and the lengths that you go to to get it back, it's all tied together to be something that's really meaningful. The sense of starting as an underdog and climbing to a great height is really fun. Destiny 2 is the place where we get to reach back out to everyone who could enjoy Wait. a sweet first person shooter Cars? in the world with giant awesome aliens to fight and gear to chase and powers to use and say, come check this world out. Come get invested in this world and in this story. Dude. I mean, it looks to me, it looks pretty similar to Destiny One, but I love Destiny One. So if it's just an improved, like a, like a much improved Destiny One, I'm I'm sold. To to be honest. Wow. All right, are you guys ready to check these worlds out? Vehicles, though, dude. Yeah. You're gonna applause after every sentence. I'm gonna be up here for a while. Uh, this is what we get to do. Yikes. <laughs> we get to build worlds. This is what, when we make Destiny, we get to build worlds that pull you in and you get to visit again and again. And then we get to fill those worlds with action, like what you saw in Homecoming. I have two kids, and just like you guys, they play Destiny a lot, I can tell, don't worry. Especially the guy with the Titan armor on. And my oldest plays a lot like I do. He's a solo player, he loves the campaign. He loves story missions. He patrols the wild as a lone wolf, and he loves it. I said that a few times. My youngest likes to compete. He's always in the crucible. You guys know the feeling. He's also in a clan that he raids with. So I'm not gonna tell you how old he is because he's, he's already better than me. And, uh, and he reminds me about it all the time. Hey dad, look what I got today. Check me out. You guys know what it's like, right? And I'm like, I gotta go into work the next day Do we actually and deal with another child in my him? life, Luke Dude, Smith. I hope so. And he's like, guess what I got last night? Check me out. That's my best Luke Smith impression. The point is, there's a lot to do in Destiny. And it's this variety that can appeal to all of us, right? In any type of mood that we're in. And now we've added more. Destiny 2, there's, there's more to do than any game we've ever made at Bungie. So we're gonna start with what's coming back. We start with a brand new story. The Red War campaign. It's gonna send you across the solar system and campaign, back. The campaign is gonna be so places. much better than it was before. Yeah. In Destiny 1. So much better. It's gonna be insane. On your journey, you're gonna experience new missions and more cinematics than we've ever had in a Destiny game. 
You just saw a part of the first mission, Homecoming. And today, we're going to get the controller in your guys' hands, and you're going to get to play it for yourselves. Yeah. I'm so jealous. I wish I could be there. Stupid graduation, Stretch man. The, the cooperative missions you guys can play with your friends, if you have them, or guardians you haven't met yet in matchmaking. So, campaign strikes. strikes. It's called Ultimate the Inverted Spire. Arc, Crucible. And you guys are going to get to play that today, too. Yeah. Is that a Vex? Is that a Vex mission? Looks like a Vex mission. It's, it's going to take you to one of the New Worlds, Nessus, through Red Legion territory and into a Vex stronghold where you're going to fight a three-stage boss. It's pretty sweet. A three-stage boss? And, and then there's the strike? Crucible. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask. PvP players, thanks. A competitive multiplayer. The place that brings you into combat with the most dreaded opponents in the world of Destiny. You guys. Like Luke said, we've made some big changes in, to the Crucible in Destiny 2. We're building it for, for PvP players. It's now 4v4 across all the game modes. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I hope they add like a big team playlist. The new HUD has got information about your opponents, you know I mean? like whether they have their super ready, whether they picked up power ammo. All towards the same goal, to make it an experience that's easy to get into, but it's hard to master. Yeah. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> so we got new maps, we got new modes, and we believe this is the best PvP offering that Destiny has ever seen. New maps and new modes? I'm Today not really we're a Crucible player. One of the brand new modes More like raids. called Countdown. The first ever attack defend mode in Destiny. Raids and strikes. Internally, for me. we've had some pretty intense play tests. And today, well, you guys are going to get to play that too. So. I'm just being fun with you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, snap. I get to play Crucible too? Shoot. Never mind. I changed my mind. I'm a Crucible so a player. Get me back in there. Because these are your teammates and your opponents. That's right. Of course. Of course. <laughs> any day. Any day. Of course, we have a brand new raid. Yeah! Yes. And we're going to show it to raids, you dude. later. Ah, uh, come on. The pinnacle activity, the biggest challenge a Guardian can face. Anyone that's ever completed one of these knows they're mysteries for you guys to find, to solve together on your own. Raids are easily the best content in Destiny. Until later day. Easily. Like, there's another close. area that we've made really big improvements to, we're really excited about. Exploring the worlds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I get some yeah in the chat real quick? Really, really cool stuff. So for many players, exploring the worlds, it's own reward. <laughs> Patrols were an invitation to touch down on a landing zone, gain favor with the champions of humanity. But in Destiny 2, we've made being in the world so much better than just doing patrols. There's so much more to do as you explore. Now, you can launch all of the new activities in the world without going to orbit. Oh, thank goodness. That was the absolute worst. Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's my favorite place to go in Destiny. Uh, there's still patrols, ambient encounters, materials and chests for you to find, public events that now have heroic objectives. But now, there are adventures. Treasure maps for you to follow. Hopefully Lost it gives you sectors for you to good discover. Stuff, you know what I mean? Just choose a landing zone and the rest is up to you. You're going to meet new characters in the world. They have their own story to tell. They're going to send you on those side missions, adventures. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yes, side missions. The adventures are filled with new mechanics, new encounters. They're going to take you to new places and each have their own rewards that's going to make your guardian stronger. These same characters are also going to mark your map with mysterious locations to discover. These we call lost sectors. Kind of like a when you descend into these dungeons, and, you're going to um, find a cache of treasure and a boss that holds the key. Cauldrons yeah. and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. <clears throat> what that reminds me of. All of this is going to be easier to find in Destiny 2 because of the new map to guide your way. You can choose to play the way that you want. You can search for lost sectors, complete adventures, wow, rallies, that's what he's got on the events. shirt. I just realized that. They now show up marked on your map where and when they're going to happen. The map doesn't have anything on it. 
Th there was some foliage These back there. These activities are the foundation of Destiny 2. And we're going to take oh, you to all new so places sick. to do them. Four brand new worlds. Worlds filled with mystery, adventures, and new characters to meet. But the team can show you these worlds better than I can. So let's check out the new worlds of Destiny 2. Oh, yeah. What are they? Io, Titan, and something else? Io, Titan, and Nessus? We have these incredible worlds to explore. There are all new destinations, new planets, with incredible spaces and secrets hidden. Now we have stuff tucked around every corner, under every locked door. There's something there for you to find. The map is a huge part of this new Yes, okay, that's what I was looking for with now the map. Now you can actually go directly from one planet to another planet without going to orbit first. You can just Jeez. open the director, pick your new destination, and go straight there. Oh, that's so nice. Thank goodness. It's about getting you into the action faster. We want to remove as many barriers as we can between your gun and the enemy's face. Everything you're doing on every destination is about getting more powerful, and it's about getting the band back together. The vanguard have been scattered, and as a player, it's your job to go out to these mysterious destinations and gather them back together. And everywhere you go, it's about growing more powerful and learning how to go back and take back your home from Gaul. Dude, that, 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 second, that secondary machine gun looks insane. Sparrows, they're back! One of the first destinations that you're going to go to is the European Dead Zone. This is an incredible place. It's the largest destination we've ever built, easily, maybe by factor of two. And we have found a refuge oh, where we've that's built a huge. camp. It's the place where humanity stops fleeing, and it's where they decide to, you know, plant a flag, start getting strong again. That's so cool. One of our new worlds is Titan. It's a moon of Saturn. If the light can find its way back to you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. That's where Zavala chooses to go, to heal his wounds and to recover from the assault and the defeat that he's just suffered. It's this incredible methane ocean with 40 meter high waves and there's an old human utopia there that's sinking into the ocean. These huge monolithic structures constructed by humanity at the peak of the Golden Age. There's literally no land mass on Titan. It looks like the ocean. It's pretty crazy looking. That red force is there. Oh my gosh. Hurry, come on. I don't know how long this portal's gonna stick. Cade is on a planetoid <laughs> called Nessus. It Love has Kate been so much. totally <laughs> occupied by the Vex. They have transformed it almost entirely into one of their machine worlds. It has its own native vegetation and oh, the okay. landscape so the, has that, that place is on the canyons. Next world. They're actually based off of this um, word I will mispronounce called Tapui, which is <laughs> like these Brazilian plateaus. And then we go to Io, which is this sort of sulfuric yellow moon of Jupiter. Io is the last place in our solar system that the Traveler touched before the collapse happened. And you can imagine that a place where the Traveler once appeared has a bunch of mythology and lore and mystery surrounding it. It's a that very sacred dude. place to guardians and particularly warlocks and particularly Ikora. This is where I return. Is that you? Was that the player? I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm feeling pretty sold right now. I'm feeling pretty darn sold. You know, all the best stories like, like in my personal gaming like history that. have involved other people. From bonding with my own brothers to leading my own guilds and running tournaments for the different games I've loved. You know, growing up. Becoming a part of these communities were some of the first times I ever felt like what it was to belong. And I'm incredibly grateful for the friendships that have come from playing those games and the impact that they've had on me. You know, over time, I've come to understand just why games are so important. Games are the best medium for bringing different people together. <laughs> Or are they all sitting on the couch? Come on, you know, get, get your gaming chairs out. Let's we'll step up, people. I'm surrounded by so many different people who have very similar stories. 
and it's an absolute privilege to be part of a studio who cares deeply <coughs> about bringing people together and building communities in the games that we create. The last three years Does this has been game an amazing have zombies? experience I wish, watching dude. Destiny launch I wish. and seeing our communities form. You guys have worked together to solve the challenges that we've thrown at you. You've teamed up to help each other learn how to play the ins and outs of this game. And you've gone above <laughs> and beyond <laughs> it, the game itself to better the lives of others. You have helped us build a world that has brought people together. And we are so proud of the amount of respect that's a and cool, that's love a cool that has picture. defined this community. So many lives have been changed by you, and they will continue to be changed. <clears throat> we know we have to continue to support this, and today I'm happy to say that in Destiny 2, clans are coming into the game. <laughs> so they'll actually have an end game feature of clans instead of it just being like, I don't know, so, through a Skype call or something like that. That's kind of cool. With clans, they're optional teams that you can join, making it easier to play with other people. For me, playing with my clan has been core to my Destiny experience, but up until now, coordinating with my clan had to happen outside of the game. Yeah. <laughs> with Destiny 2, we're bringing official clan support. Clash of the clans, game. boys. We want it to be easier. We want it to be easier for you to manage and grow your clan. So we're adding in-game rosters, we're adding tools you need to build your fire teams and custom banners for you to help shape your shared identity. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so you can actually like design your own banner? That's cool. On top of that, we're adding a reward system that is shared by every member of your clan. So whether you're the type of player who raids every week or you only have the time to jump into a few PvP matches on the weekend, your contribution will help everyone in the clan get rewards. Oh, snap. What? I wonder how that's going to work. Is that going to be o is that going to be OP? Do I have to join like a million person clan now, or We realize that joining a clan is not for everyone and that's okay. But this is why I'm super excited to say that clans are going to matter to you even if you never join one. In Destiny, we had co-activities that were designed to inspire friendship. Activities like the nightfall, raids, trials, we deliberately kept them exclusive to dedicated groups of people because we believe that challenge is what fuels the memories between you and your lifelong friends. And we didn't think that matchmaking was a great solution because of just how toxic gaming communities can get when you throw <laughs> strangers temporarily into these challenging experiences. Yes, and it's very true. This is very true. That playing with a group of people that you know and trust is the best way to experience the game. We made it inaccessible for some players to experience our end game content. So we had an idea. We clans have these with clans like five people, well, and then you can fill the slot with a random. Positive culture. So I'm guessing. And we have so many players who are looking to play challenging content in this welcoming environment. What if we put those two together? We're trying something new in Destiny 2, and we'd like to introduce you to Guided Games. Now, at a high level, Guided Games is a system where clans and solo players can meet to play challenging activities. And as a solo player, you can use Guided Games to pick a clan you want to be paired with for a session of the raid, a session of trials, or the nightfall strike. <laughs> Decline. And the most important thing about this is that you get to see which clans are currently hosting and, and you're able to read just a little bit about them so you know who they're looking for at that moment. You get to see how they present themselves and you get a little sense of what type of players are part of that clan. And for players who are in an active clan, you know that building a full fire team of six to run the raid can still be a frustrating experience. And if you're a scheduler like me, then you're motivated to play with a consistent group of people. But you've probably had to deal with the experience of someone bailing at the last minute, and then you're scrambling to find the substitute, and you're just trying to keep the group together. With guided games, you'll be able that's to a really cool idea. That's a good solution to, new to players it. Players who are looking for a group than just play random with. matchmaking. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> a 
I'll give, I'll give some class for that, Bungie. Creative games, clans are now the foundation of the community that leads every player to all the most challenging content. And while we're really happy to say that everyone's going to have a chance to experience everything that Destiny 2 has to offer, we're really more excited about who you're going to meet and how you're going to play together. We know there is a community for everyone, and we hope that in Destiny 2, <laughs> we can help you find one where you belong. Dun, dun, dun. New classes. Now, th apparently there's no new classes. It's just classic three. Destiny 2 really tries to say, you belong. You can play by yourself. <laughs> the That's hunter awesome. didn't even show up in that clip. But playing with it's too far away. Tackling a challenge together, <laughs> that's when we believe Destiny is really at its best. The, those little dog things are we crazy. We've heard loud and clear from a lot of our players over the last couple of years that they really wanted to play end game activities like the raid and the nightfall strikes that require a group, but they just couldn't get enough players online at the same time. Our big challenge is like, how do you take the ease of matchmaking and how do you take the magic of community building and help people find the people that you will have a great is that, time? Was that a guardian in the tank? I swear, dude. Quit teasing these vehicles. We're adding two new systems to Destiny 2 that are pretty critical, clans and guided games. Clans have always been a part of Destiny. It's just been a nameplate or a second friends list. But clans are finally in the Destiny 2 game. Clans in Destiny 2 are groups that you can join to play the game together. When you're looking for the clans, you kind of get to see their motto, you get to see their name, you get to see that awesome clan banner there, and you kind of get a sense of who they are before you say, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna go play with these guys. Clans are gonna have progression, rewards, and they're also going to be guides for the guided games experience. That's pretty cool. I like, uh, I like what they've done with that. Solo Should we make it no J406 clan? Clans to find people who are already hosting a game who are just looking for one or two more players. So imagine you had five people who wanted to play Raid, but they're missing a sixth person. Then you have a solo player who's never played Raids before, and they're like, I just want to see what this is like. We'll match a group and a solo player together. Guided games are our way of making sure everyone who loves Destiny can play every piece of content we build. Guided games doesn't require any commitment. You can just have that really great experience, and then you can part ways. But our hope is, if you have a blast in that activity, maybe you'll make some friends and join the clan. Destiny, no. Just plans kidding. and guided games <laughs> is going to help people fill out their friends list, so they're always going to have people to play with. What we try to do in Destiny 2 is weave this sense of community throughout the entire game. When you get to the farm, you meet this character, Hawthorne, who doesn't live in the city anymore, but she went out into the wilderness and created a community of her own. So we use the storytelling. It's oh, that was so, so sick! Many friendships that would have never existed, all because of this game. Andiamo! Wow! We really try hard to make sure from the ground up we're building this to be an experience that you want to share with your friends. And not only your friends, but the potential friends that you could have. I've never had a game that feels like home before, but Destiny just feels like home. There are no words to explain how much I love, love this community. People have found a new place to call home and new people to call family. Destiny 2 is really ramping up everything in every regard. Oh, I mean, that's cool. I didn't know there was a slam attack for the hunters have. there. Whether you're in match-made activities like PvP and strikes, whether you've Throwing taken knife. a Oh, sniper looks game. insane! It's a game that's <gasps> best enjoyed. Oh my players. gosh! That's the heart of Destiny. That's what the game's about. Yo, that sniper looked crazy, dude! Yeah, why would you want to play offline mode in Destiny? I doubt they'll have it, but why would you want to? As you just saw, Destiny is a series that brings people together. It's allowed me to reconnect with an old friend from junior high, someone I hadn't heard from in almost 20 years. I was sitting at the Sony E3 press conference a couple years ago, and Destiny the Taken King was just revealed on stage. And my phone starts buzzing, and I look that down air, and The airplane hangar, did you hear the plane flying by? <laughs> do you know anything about this Destiny game? And I'm like, yeah, I know a little bit about this Destiny game. And since then, we've played the game together for dozens of hours. We've introduced our families in real life. 
And we've got the opportunity to laugh again, just like we did when we were kids playing oh Super Nintendo <laughs> in his parents' a, basement. This is a little cheesy. Destiny but also okay. given me the opportunity to grow closer with my youngest brother. We talk on the phone now, almost every week. And for the first 10 minutes, instead of talking about our jobs or talking about our parents, we're talking about Destiny. We're talking about our Guardian's trials, where we've been in the world, the crazy loot we found, his story about how he got Gallimore, the dudes he's been crushing in the Crucible. And every week, he asks me about Destiny 2, and every week, I deny him, until today. With Destiny 2's clans and guided games, we aim to bring together millions of more people just like that. To reconnect with old friends and to meet new ones that you'll never forget, that's the promise of this game. To us, Destiny is more than just a game, though. It's a world where you can lose yourself for 10 minutes or for a thousand hours. Where you can explore. The game doesn't work if you're not online, though. The world at your own pace. Like you literally can't play the game if you're not online. Or take on some of the most competitive challenges available in video games today. Where you can play solo, like I do most cheesy. Time, Or with an old friend, a family member, or with someone you just met. This. He can now talk to his brother again. Is Thanks, Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> Destiny is a world I want to be a part of, where there are amazing so activities to do every week. <laughs> And there's always someone to play with. No, no, I'm a solo player On too. On behalf but of Bungie and Activision, like the game doesn't work this unless you're playing online. To thank this incredible community that inspires us to work tirelessly to make this game a worthy sequel to the original. Before I pass on the baton to Eric Hirschberg at Activision, who's going to close out the show, here is the official gameplay trailer for Destiny 2. Oh, the official one. There's been so many like trailer things. Hey, Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Kate, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Hey, Cora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Battle stations! Everyone with me! Not the tree, dude, not the tree. And now they threaten our very existence. But if we attack together, we can take back our home or we die trying. shield he had? So I, I'm I'm super hyped for this game. It looks like an, it looks like a much improved, much better Destiny one. Was that awesome or what? <laughs> yeah, Eric. <laughs> am I right? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> and no one doesn't like Nathan Fillion. Don't bother. 
Uh, as awesome as that trailer was, I can tell you, because I've been, been playing the game a ton, it is even better than it looks. I could not be prouder or more thankful to our partners at Bungie. They had a big vision for this game to make Destiny 2 a, a sequel-worthy successor to what they started with Destiny. And they've also really listened to all of you, to our community. And I think they've made all the right moves to make Destiny 2 just awesome. So let's hear it for Luke and Steve and Emmy and Mark. Can, can, I, get, can I get some clappers in the chat, please? Clappers. And let's also hear for the entire Bungie team that they're representing back home who are just killing themselves to make this thing awesome for you guys. Amazing. You never work. even played Destiny 1? Now, you know, long before I was a uh, partner of Bungie's, I was a fan of While he's of talking, Bungie's I'm going to do something. Games, and it's just been an honor and a pleasure to call them our partners and to help them bring this vision to life. And for all of you who are here in person, in just a few minutes, you're going to be the first people in the world to put your hands on the controllers and get your hands on Destiny 2. You are going to play uh, the first campaign mission that you saw at the beginning of the stream. You're going to get to team up with one another and experience a brand new strike. And you're going to get to battle it out in a brand new multiplayer map, playing a brand new multiplayer mode. So it's going to be a lot of awesome content. Real quick to that dude. Uh, can, you read, can you read me how many hours and I put into Destiny 1? For those of you who are watching at home thinking, well, that sucks for me. Thank you. Uh, don't worry, we've got your back because uh, we are going to be hosting a beta later this summer. Woo, so beta. everyone will get a chance to get their hands on <clears throat> Destiny 2 oh, yes. before the launch. I played in the de I do. I've been playing since the Destiny Alpha. Now, doing all this, bringing a vision and an undertaking as ambitious and huge as Destiny 2 to life, uh, it takes more than just the great talent we have at Activision and the great talent we have at Bungie. It takes partners who also can see the vision and believe in the vision as much as we do. And we have a partner just like that in Sony. They have been by our side since really before day one. And these guys are, you know, legit. Some of the hardest core so PlayStation players I know this time are around. on the team that we work with at Sony. So they've been hugely supportive every step of the way of Activision, of Bungie, and of the Destiny vision, uh, including uh, today, because they're providing all of the slick 4K PS4 Pros that you're going to be playing on today. So a heartfelt thanks to our partners at Sony. So do I need to get a 4K PS4? With us. Let's hear it for them. Is my old PS4 not going to cut it anymore? I have a feeling it's not. Do I need to get a 4K PS4? Now, it's no secret that Destiny has inspired millions of console gamers all over the world, but there is one community so far of gamers that have never been able to get in on the fun, and that's all you PC fans out there. Now, now as you know, we've already announced that Destiny 2 is coming to the PC, and it's going to be just an epic version of the game. And today, you don't have to take my word for that. You're going to get to put your hands on it and check it out for yourself and see all the love and attention that we're building into it just for PC fans. But what we haven't announced is where you're going to be able to find it. Well, let me tell you, there is a place out there where the most awesome magical PC place. games and the most passionate PC gamers anywhere in the world both live. If he doesn't and say Destiny Steam, people are going to be... is going to live there as well. So I want to uh, introduce a friend of mine who wanted to be here in person. He's all the way over in China today, so he's going to get in on the fun by video, but uh, he knows a thing or two about epic PC games, and it's my friend and counterpart at Blizzard Entertainment, Mike Morheim. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Morheim from Blizzard Entertainment, <laughs> and I'm excited to be part of today's Destiny So it's going to be a, the Blizzard launcher. You may be wondering, why is Blizzard crashing a Destiny party? Well, we're big fans of what Activision and Bungie have done with Destiny. We also, our companies are owned by universe. the same people and we have a soft spot for collecting lots of epic loot. Also, as you know firsthand, there's an awesome and passionate community around the world who loves this game. With Destiny 2 coming to PC, we thought it would be a great opportunity to bring the Destiny community and the Blizzard community together. So I'm excited to announce that Destiny 2 will be available for PC exclusively through Battle.net, Blizzard's online gaming service. Players will be able to Makes buy sense. and download games. That's fine. I already have Overwatch on there, so. And connect with each other through social features such as friends lists and cross-game chat. We're excited to partner with the talented folks at Bungie and Activision to make this happen, and we look forward to bringing Destiny 2 to Blizzard's platform. Now, I know you have an action-packed day ahead of you, 
with a bunch of Destiny 2 content to check out. So have fun, and we'll see you online soon. Yeah. I, I didn't even think about that. I mean, so thanks, I would say Steam, Steam is greater us, than uh, Bnet, make but that great announcement. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, thanks again good. to our partners at Bungie for doing what they do and making an awesome game you're going to get to check out today. Uh, thanks to the entire team at Activision for doing what you do and bringing this thing to life. But most of all, we all want to thank all of you, all of you here in person and all of you watching all over the world. This game is built on the belief that playing is always more fun when you're doing it with your friends. And in no time flat, you guys have made the Destiny community one of the most engaged, one of the most passionate, one of the most positive gaming communities maybe ever. So with that, for those of you at home, we'll see you online this summer in the beta. And for those of you here in the room, let's go play. Thank you. Oh, I wish I was there so bad. I actually wish I was there so bad, dude. No, upsetting spaghetti, dude. Upsetting spaghetti. Um, so beta this summer. I, I don't know. If PS4 is getting exclusive stuff, I'll probably play on PS4, to be honest. Was that Bruce Green right there? That looked like Bruce Green. Um, so I, I want to do these. So if the PS4 has exclusive stuff, I'll probably be playing on PS4. If they don't, I'll be playing on PC. No cross-platform, no. The, the, there's very few, very few games that actually have cross-platform. So, um, yeah, someone in, someone in the chat says that was Bruce Green. I'm pretty sure it was, dude. <laughs> um, okay, so thoughts, thoughts. Um, game, game looks pretty similar to Destiny 1 in terms of, like, layout, supers. There's no, like, major inter innovations. Graphically, it looks a lot better. I think um, it feels like they they played a lot more with the lighting. They didn't just have the boring same old lighting for like every single map and stuff like that. It looks like the lighting is like super super improved. Um, gameplay more or less looks the same, which uh, which is fine. I think it's it is fine when there's more interesting stuff to do. The gameplay of Destiny is really really good. It's the it's the missions that needed a little work that got a little boring after time. Um, and the loot grinding obviously like kept me playing it. Um, obviously, I know I know there are people with way more hours than me, but um, like I don't know. I I didn't play Destiny pretty much from the Taken King on. I didn't really play at all. I didn't really touch the game anymore. Um, and then sometime in between uh, Crota, the I forgot what that expansion pass was called Crota and the Taken King. Um, but yeah, so that that was good. Um, it's a, it's basically it's basically a rehauled and improved Destiny one, um, but when they have like the new story elements and stuff like that, super 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 excited for that. Um, so the, the the new the integrated cutscenes that they had are gonna make it really really interesting. Um, the storyline seems a way more compelling. Obviously they like flush it out this time. They didn't just put it all in grimoire cards. Um, let's see, uh, beta is coming out this summer. So depending on um, what hap what happens with that, I'll be I'll be playing the beta on whatever console it comes out on first. If or if not, if it comes out all at the same time, I'd be playing on PC. Um, abilities, ability, the new weapons look amazing. The new weapons like look really really cool. I think the new weapons were were like actually awesome. Um, yeah, it's not like it's not like I'm trying to think what what. A game that comes like I guess like Call of Duty, like a game that comes out every single year. Um, Call of Duty comes out every single year, and it's always like a kind of like pretty much new. Like we're getting a World War II game coming from like Infinite Warfare, which is literally as futuristic as you not as futuristic, but pretty darn futuristic to like World War II. It's like a big rehaul, like the movement system changes, everything like that. Um, so that's something that. That's something that's getting like very, very changed. Destiny looks like more or less like a more exact sequel, which makes sense because it's like the same studio and everything like that. Um, but I'm really excited for it. I, I'm really, really excited for it. Um, let me see. Let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. They only showed the Warlock subclass properly, and it didn't look. It didn't look like the Hunter one was different from Arc Blade like at all. 
Except that you got that little sl they, they showed that little slam maneuver. Snipers look insane. Um, Crucible is now 4, 4v4 in all game modes. I don't know what the thought was behind that. I thought 6v6 was good for a lot of it. I guess maybe they're going to tighten up the maps and make it 4v4. I don't know. Um, it's a direct sequel to the story. Yeah, it's a direct sequel to the story, for sure. Uh, the gameplay the gameplay was awesome. It was really, really fun. Um, Hunter Master Race. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be playing Hunters again, for sure. 100%. Uh, new drivable vehicles. The, there's that tank, that tank fight, that tank attack, and everything like that, which was pretty darn cool. Um, here, let me see if let me see if I go to videos. Can I check out past broadcasts? Two hours ago. Okay, yeah. So let's 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 just throw on some of the gameplay. Um, let's put that mission back on just so we can watch it. So that mission, yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> um, they say, they didn't say the beta release date. Nope. They uh, they won't. They they didn't. They didn't say the release date at all. Um, I'm trying to think. What, what else? The no orbit? Yeah, the no orbit's gonna be, like, that's what I'm talking about with, like, a big, big improvement um, from the first one. The no orbit will be really, really nice. Um, Golden Gun's back. Yeah, Golden Gun's back. The the Nova Bomb is back. Um, the, clan, the clan stuff is really, really cool. Clan stuff will make it a lot easier to play, for sure. Uh, I'm down. I'm down with that. We're gonna probably have to start up our own clan for that. Super big clan. Um, da, da, da. Warlocks are wearing skirts. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> you know how it goes. Um, yeah, your character does not carry over at all. No, it does not. Yeah, they said beta this summer, so. That's when we'll be seeing it. Um, I don't care if my guardian transfers over. I was banned anyway. Really? <laughs> Why'd you get banned? That's so cool that you start in like the tower, but it's all like destroyed. Oh, the NBA, NBA, uh, all NBA first team: Kawhi, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, James Hart. Oh wait, what? LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Second team: uh, Curry, Thomas, Durant, uh, Giannis, and Rudy. Huh. Okay. Sorry, that was uh, sorry. That just popped up on my phone. I wanted to read it real quick. Um. Yeah. What 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 class are you guys gonna go? What class are you guys gonna go? It looks like the orbs of light still still pop up and everything like that. Uh. So yeah, we're we're pretty much starting completely over from everything. Looks pretty. It looks pretty crazy, honestly. The arc, the arc blade more or less looks the same though. Or, or I keep calling it arc blade. What, what is it called? What is the what is the name called? Arc whatever. That one, that one looks insane. I forgot the name of it, but it looks really, really cool. Really, really cool. Um. Always one of each. I, I did I did three uh, I did three hunters because before infusing was a thing it was much much easier to run three hunters to get leveled up as quickly as possible for the raid so that's what I always did the sweeping robot I love it how many levels they didn't talk about that that nitty gritty stuff they didn't talk about any of that um. No, no, Nova and Goldie isn't back. They showed the supers before they lost their light. True, but I feel like they wouldn't put them in there if they weren't, if they didn't return, you know what I mean? Yeah, the new ones were the only ones they showed of, like, actual gameplay of, like, you using it, you know what I mean? Um, it looks like the same as the Axe King thing from the Taken King. Yeah, pretty much. Except that Warlocks can do it now. Um... 
Dawnblade, that's what it's called. I'm not buying if I can't play as a Margo. <laughs> I don't know what- I don't know what that, uh... I don't know what that- that ability necessarily did right there, but it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Dominus Skull is the new boss. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna be- oh yeah, oh yeah, there's the third ability now. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, the, the new boss looks pretty insane. That, like, th this is my, probably my favorite part, is the integrated cutscenes right here. You got it early? Yeah, I got it early, as you can see here. I so wish I wasn't graduating tomorrow so I could have gone to the a gameplay event. <laughs> the Warlock thing was leaked before. Really? I didn't see that. Did not see that. Pretty sure that rocket launcher thing is the dubious volley. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the, the, they have the grenade launcher launchers, and they have the uh, the, the little minigun things. Really, really cool. Sidearms are backed. Sidearms are backed. Are back. Gosh, words are hard. All right, um. Yeah, we're 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 watching back over the gameplay right now. Our, already already went through the entire thing, but we're just walking back. Gotta games for solo. Gotta games, yeah. Gotta games is nice. 60 FPS and 4K or not? They didn't. They literally didn't mention anything like that. <sighs> I I do hope that 60 FPS on a console or a PC at least would be nice, but we'll see. Uh, destiny greater than graduation. I wish. If my family wasn't coming, I no joke. If my family wasn't coming, I I would have skipped graduation to go to this event to uh, to get the gameplay. We've known about these subclasses for months thanks to leaks. I yeah, I really haven't paid attention. This is the first I've like tuned back into the destiny, like all the destiny stuff in a long time. Um, so. I, I literally haven't paid any attention to what's been going on, so I haven't seen any of the leaks or anything. But I mean, I, I'm I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Always good to see it for the first time. Got gun spread. Back at it again. This game will have mini guns, S seemingly. There there are mini guns. I do like the grenade launchers, it's pretty sick. Bram the unbent blade. Huh. <laughs> Congrats on graduating. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Someone showed uh, someone just showed a cutscene of Zer laying down. Look it up and show it on stream. Wait, what? You're finishing college, congrats, thanks dude. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me look on Reddit. A cutscene of Zero laying down, what does that even mean? Cutscene of the game. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look, let me get a new. Like, it literally just came out? The shield generator should be straight ahead. I don't, I don't see anything. You're, you're gonna have to link me or something, so I can actually find it. <laughs> the top post on the Destiny subreddit says, Confirmed, one item being transferred from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2. Salt. <laughs> oh, this part was, was insane. Your journey. That part was insane. This is crazy. Um, dun, dun, dun. Just remember watching your stream for uh, King's Fall when we were trying to complete it as well. You guys were so hyped when you beat Oryx. Dude, insanely hyped. Insanely hyped. Your journey ends okay. here. <clears throat> it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Dun, dun, dun. The new Titan Shield's pretty cool, yeah. Um, I 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the stream there. That's pretty much, pretty much everything that, uh, pretty much everything that happened in that thing. Although we could, we could go and look at that here. Let me. I never had okay, there we go. Wouldn't load for a second. Um, let me go look at the other gameplay they showed. Yeah, let's, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Well, let's, okay, let's, let's go through this right here. So th this was the actual, so this was the actual, like, trailer, was this the trailer trailer that they showed? Like, obviously this all was kind of like a trailer, but... This was like the the trailer that they're gonna be running on like TV and stuff like that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Activision. This enemy has taken our home, and now they threaten our very existence. That new enemy looks insane. <laughs> Zavala is pissed. We attack together, Zavala is pissed. We so. I guess this is kind of a look at the, like a fire team maybe. I wonder if the fire team is gonna be four now because they switched Crucible to four instead of like obviously it was six, but I wonder if fire teams are gonna be four. I doubt it, but we'll see. Some sort of like new shotgun. I can't get over. Okay, so that yeah, that's the drivable tank. That's the tank gameplay. It's like a very very brief look at the tank game gameplay. Snipers look so good, though. Oh, so this looks like the Vex Raid. Or not, not Raid, the, the Vex Strike. That uh, we're gonna see gameplay of pretty soon. Hold on, did that throwing knife bounce? Well, let, listen, to, listen to the sounds here. Did this throwing knife bounce? sound effects or the throwing knife actually bounced <laughs> that new that new, the new worlds look crazy that that remind that's like some vaults of glass business right there that's what that looks like I want to know what this this thing is right here like what in the world is happening in that in that moment Lupo just tweeted this 30 FPS on console, 60 FPS on PC. Interesting. Uh, that was when he was interviewing Zavala. Well, kills me to see Okay, let's watch, let's watch this gameplay again. Well, it's gonna be very hard for me to play on console over PC now. But if the PS4 gets that exclusive content, like as a YouTuber, you know you gotta you gotta do it. Yeah, I kind of wish they kept 6v6, to be honest. I kind of wish they, they kept 6v6 in the, um... In the... Crucible. I don't, I don't know what the reasoning was for them to change it to 4v4. I don't know if it was supposed to be, like, more tactical. I could see them doing that for, like, trials. But they did say all game modes it was gonna be 4v4, so I guess it will be 4v4 for trials, too. It's weird, man. It's weird. Thank you for subscri subscribing, Andrew. If you guys haven't hit the sub button yet, go ahead and do that, because uh, whenever the beta comes out for this game, I'm going to be streaming it, like, literally all day, every day. Like, 12-hour streams we talk in here. So, if you guys haven't haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. I'm excited, man. <laughs> I, I, I miss being hyped for Destiny, dude. I, I really haven't played that much since The Taken King. <laughs> yeah, what what do y'all what are y'all's thoughts on the uh, on the graphics? I think they look pretty darn good. As 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 a light show gets put on right here. I th I think the uh, I think the graphics look really really cool. 
I I like I like that they played with the lighting a little bit. It's not all like the same. And also and also it's nice to compare it because like this was the tower, you know what I mean? So you, so you know what it's supposed to you know what it normally looks like. Obviously it's like being attacked and everything, but looks really really cool. This ability is insane. <laughs> Uh, they seem like they they are letting you be a lot more aerial in Destiny 2, if that makes sense. Like, there's there's a clip. I don't remember where the clip is, but the the character like jumps up and, and like aims down sight and just hovers for a few seconds. Like, it's just it's just hovering in air, firing like a couple bursts of clip into an enemy. So I guess I don't know if that's an ability or or what. <laughs> Everyone cheers for the sweeper. It's so funny. <clears throat> Dinklebot returning. Yeah, I, that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know if anyone voiced the. Uh, uh, I wanted to see if uh, the the ghost had a voice in this game, but they didn't show it at all. I feel like they would have at least teased it if it did. I guess the ghost is silent. Maybe. I hope not, honestly. Or maybe it's something they're gonna reveal at a later date, or something that doesn't get revealed to the day of. You know what I mean? Dude, big, biggest mind blown ever. Blizzard teams up with Destiny 2. Not really. Uh, the, the company's name is literally Activision Blizzard. So, there, I mean, it makes sense. Thing looks so cool. So, it, it makes perfect sense that they would do it on Bnet instead of Steam. Oh, that. I didn't notice that the first time. It was that, that explosion over to the side. The ghost talked like two or three times the same voice from the first game. Really? When? I didn't notice. You never stream H1 anymore? That's because I've been really busy with the Call of Duty DLC the last couple days. He says I Cora right as you see her. Really? Let me go back and listen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're right. Ghosty Ghost has the same voice. Interesting. Yeah, good good call. Good call. I didn't I didn't hear that the first time. It was very, very like subtle. So the voice actor is the same on that. What, what, con what console are you gonna get it on, Noah? If if PS4 has exclusives, I'm gonna get it for PS4. If not, I'm gonna get it for PC. If if they have if they have everything the same for all consoles, I'll be I'll be ro rocking the uh, rocking the PC. But it'll be in July. Yeah, it'll be later. It'll be later on. They didn't announce a date, but it may have leaked or something like that. Maybe out already. Not sure. Not sure. Yeah, thanks for all the subs, guys. Appreciate it. Baller hot dogs. It's a fantastic name. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for subbing. Um. Just eating a bacon grilled cheese, dude. I'm so hungry. It reminds me. Then burn, precision kills, head, sh head and six, blood with solar burn. Yeah, I wondered if that was weapon, if that, if that was the weapon, or, or or what was going on. All right, guardian, time to kick him where it hurts. <clears throat> In the game, when it comes out, which class are you gonna pick? Uh, I'm probably gonna, my first one's probably gonna be hunter, and then if they make it, if infusion's the thing, I'm gonna have one of each character. If not, I'm gonna go three hunters. How do you think the customization clan banners will still work? Probably just like a set number of things that you can do. I doubt you're gonna be able to like specifically design it, you know what I mean? 
I, d I really, really doubt you're gonna be able to like actually like upload anything or design it just because people would make like inappropriate stuff for a rated T game, you know what I mean? Assuming it is rated T like the last one was. <laughs> the steering wheel. That, that, that dude was terrible. How did he die? How did he die so fast? <laughs> I know it wasn't a, uh, a yellow bar, but still. Jeez, man, two shots from that, like, launcher when you can hold, like, 13 plus, probably. launchers i think that's gonna be my my weapon of choice okay i think this is where it is where he like jumps up and he hovers in midair also it, it triggers me so much that he doesn't aim down sights like why like why okay he's hovering in air and then your player jumps up and look look he's like hovering in air for like an entire clip and then as soon as he unaimed unaims down sight it comes off you know what i mean Is this on super easy mode? This dude is doing like no damage. Health bar is so low. <laughs> that thing, that thing is ridiculously OP. Holy cow. Where did they show the armor selection screen again? I kind of want to go, I kind of want to go look at the armor selection screen. Didn't they sh One of those two things has been taken away. Guardians. Where did they show these the character selection screen? Let me see if Let me see if I can find this. Um, tells a brand new story. What happens when a world full of superheroes Let me see, let me see. Um where was that character? I want to know where the character selection, or not, not the character selection. Uh, Destiny. Oryx, spider monsters, whatever. But in the opening of Destiny 2, players realize there is in fact a foe who has the power to not only take. Let me look. Let me look at this. To take your this account. Right here. Not, not Destiny the game. Um. Where can I find a screenshot of it? Maybe on maybe on maybe on Reddit because I'm not gonna be able to find the time in it that this happened. And just come to our Destiny system. of the game. Take the traveler's powers, the light. Take it for himself. Gaul's jealous. He wants to have the light. He wants to be chosen. The inventory. Gaul is a different villain. He's not a psychopath who just wants to race humanity off the face of the earth. He feels like this is something that is owed to him because of inventory. Everything he's He's a mother of pearl. Yeah, does, it, does anyone know where, where I can find a screenshot of it? Uh, Alan Rickman's character from Die Hard. <laughs> Minus all the Britishness. This protector let me see. Let me, let me just search like Twitter or something. I'm sure someone on Twitter posted a screenshot. Twitter.com. Unexpected. And or, no, I'm gonna have to go on this. No longer go back to the tower. You can no longer even walk. All you can do is stumble. Nobody expected that <laughs> light could be taken away once it was given. See. Destiny to inventory. I guarantee you it's gonna pop up if I search this on a. Really? There's no. Really? There's there's no person who who took a screenshot of the Destiny 2 inventory and posted it. Whether you're playing Destiny today or it's gonna be your first foray into the franchise, Destiny 2 is a new adventure for everyone. Mother of Pearl. It's a fresh Mother story. of Pearl. <coughs> I just realized there's a super bar still. Yeah, yeah, super bar is still there. There's more cinematics than we've ever had before. I How long before the fleet's combat with Yeah, appa apparently PC looks super, super smooth. There's adventures. There's gonna be people Destiny talking to. Destiny two. Let's bring them home, you and I. 
all new worlds to explore. We've got cooperative strikes for three players. Let me see, let me see if just some random account is supposed to. A brand new raid. In Destiny 2, we built you. Because I, I want to look at I want to look at the armor slots, how the light system works, and everything like that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. That armor, that wizard or uh, warlock armor, wizard. That wizard came from the moon. That warlock armor looks so good. Fusion rifles, sniper rifles, and grenade launcher. In that energy slot and the kinetic slot, you can have the same ones. The new weapon plan was designed to provide players with more freedom. More this need to Intel. Let me see. Let's see if they have that. Um. New supers, and they're really changing the way it feels to play the game. We have the Dawnblade. Did nobody take a screenshot? You can Goodness gracious! You've got your sword, and you're flying over everyone. Sixty-seven thirty-four. Okay. Fire Phoenix projectiles that just decimate people. And then you have the Sentinel. You missed it? You just passed it? All intends to show the knowledge. He's a <laughs> It was just on the screen. I, I was I was busy I was busy trying to uh to you. Let's bring them home, you I, I was I was just trying to uh worlds to explore. Sentinel. Go back 30 seconds. Okay. This is something that is owed to him because of everything he's been through. He's a villain who you're like, yeah, this guy kind of has his stuff together. He's more like. He's wondering things like, expected thing of all. He goes and I think. In a world full of super. Was it was it in that little was that in that little video? Can someone can someone just tweet it to me if you if you saw it, just tweet just tweet it to me. I cannot find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, here it is. Okay, so uh, we've got records. Interesting. Uh, level twenty, light level two sixty. So it seems like light level is the exact same. You know what I mean? What is this right here? So, so it looks like the weapons and armor are still gonna have everything. It looks like there is a relic slot as well. This this essentially looks like the same thing. Light level twenty, light two sixty. Um, inventory settings, records, clan. So clan is in this menu right here. Gear stats. So it it essentially looks like the same thing, but it does look like there's a uh, an artifact or relic slot. I forgot which one it was. If the Thanks. <laughs> if Thanks. the giant burning two So they, they changed two, this to armor, explodes, agility, and recovery. We lose. Despite the awesomeness of the dawn blade we just looked at, huh. we're defeated. I don't know what the, I don't know what this is right here. Earth's last safe city. Is safe no more. And then this is just a cooler Destiny icon. Is, a game is that, that opens so? This is is this the only one that's available at the moment? Swoop. This the doesn't. Will lose their powers. Or does this look like there's two different subclasses here? Of all, what do you guys think? Is this two different subclasses here? Because just, just those are those are sidearms. This little blurb right here. Okay. You think these are two it's more uh, two more subclasses? Gaul, the leader of the Red Legion, who you just or do you think it's just one? I think it's. Gaul? And then it doesn't look like he has any extra armor in these slots over here. Gaul is here for a simple reason. He's been raised since he was just like... <clears> oh, yeah, they have, they have a rate of fire thing. Magazine size as well. He and the Red Legion should have been chosen to receive the Traveler's power. Dun, dun, dun. Gaul believes in a better class of Guardian. No weapon mod is equipped. Oh, snap, yeah. I, I was too busy staring at the inventory. I didn't even read this. Uh, adaptive... Gaul Magazine is dropped on reload, wasting bullets, terror, but greatly terror. increasing reload speed. Oh, that's cool. Humanity, Improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of the attack. No weapon mod applied. The game opens that looks that looks pretty sick. A game about recovery. That actually looks recovery really really cool. Strong again. Those purple things are legendary marks. To the traveler. Those aren't the and symbols they had in the first game though, right? Armor. Recover the vanguard. 
those three characters we just saw. Zavala. I love, yeah, so level, so it looks like you're gonna cap out at level 20 to start off, and then light level whatever. Zavala, the leader of this whole thing, is yeah. having an existential huh. crisis. No, Zavala, don't. No, 30 FPS on console, 60 on PC. Sidearms in first slot. Yeah, they, they said it's not really like sidearms anymore. It's more like kinetic and energy weapons, right? For the first two of them. The scores aren't shown for the armor. Yeah, but the scores were shown for uh, for the what's it called? For the sidearm in the first slot. Yeah, so it looks like your your primary and secondary. I think they talked about that too. During during one of the things, they were like, "So you can carry two kinetic or something." They said something weird. They're like, "So you can carry two kinetics if you want," or something like that. Um, also, the ammo is weird to me. The ammo the ammo is a little weird to me. So the light level max will be around 500. Maybe, I guess, if it starts off at 260. I don't know. Would have liked a better HUD, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Um, Yeah, we're, we'll just have to wait and see. Cause honestly, between the Destiny beta and the final game uh, for the first one, a lot changed. A lot changed. Dude, so is 4v4 Trials gonna be a thing? I think so. It seems like 4v4 Trials is gonna be... is gonna, Because they said every single game mode. I don't know. It, that, I guess it depends on if Trials... Like... Start, it starts off as one of the main game modes? Because if it does, it's gonna be 4v4. You can carry two of the same weapon types, like two hand cannons. Yeah, so apparently... Apparently you're gonna be able to do that. Your journey... And... Yeah. So cool. That, that was a good shot. That was a good scene right there. They're actually based off of this. Um, let's go to. For where's, where's this other little mo montage that they did right here? Information about a guardian. Oh, this guy. Look at the look at this guy. Destiny Two has an all new. Yeah, yeah. Let's watch this one again. There's more cinematics than we've ever had before. I think. How long before the <laughs> combat break? Similar gameplay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Similar gameplay for sure. Similar gameplay for sure. There's quests, there's adventures. No, no doubt, no doubt. 30 FPS on consoles, I'm disappointed. But they're gonna have 4K, which I which I guess is cool. I think one of my favorite parts is gonna be the new side missions. They have like side missions with characters that are like fleshed out and everything like that. Like you can talk to that random dude and like see what his deal is, what he needs help with, and you can go help him with it. And he like talks to you during that. I think that's kind of cool. Fusion sniper, fusions and snipers are now power weapons that will be con combined with grenade launchers and rockets, so you can no longer use hand cannon, snipers, and rocket launcher. Oh yeah, that was it right there. The armor looks mad, dude. We also redesigned the weapon slots. They're gonna have a kinetic weapon. Okay, so first slot looks like it has an assault rifle, a, a sidearm. Precision recoil matter patterns more vertical melee kills reload a portion of the magazine rounds from it to 60 magazine 11 So these are all legendaries keep in mind looks like there's a revolver More like more like kinetic weapons rather than like beam weapons. It looks like like this looks like a Glock or something Okay So energy weapons, so these are all the uh, wait, so is the first like kinetic so yeah, kinetic weapons. So these shoot actual real bullets. These shoot bullets. The energy weapons are the ones that shoot energy. And it doesn't look 
like that you can put snipers in your secondary slot anymore. Much rather have a game that's smooth rather than a 4K upgrade. Oh, for sure. Me too. Um, and does that mean... Oh, that's a rocket launcher. This is a grenade launcher. So does that mean snipers are going to be in the uh, the power weapon slot? Oh, I really hope not. I Dude, I love, I love running like... No, because the sniper is a kinetic weapon. It d are any of these... This looks. These all look like machine guns, or like a shotgun, or like grenade launchers, and then a rocket launcher. High damage, high recoil, automatically reloads a portion of the magazine when critically wounded. No weapon mod is applied. So they have weapon mods now. Power weapon. Power weapon. So the question is: is Are snipers going to be a? And grenade launcher. In that energy slot and the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapons. Wait. Oh, did he just say it there? New arm. Be people oh gosh, what? No, what? Why? Get your powers back. Me. Each character has these new supers. We also redesigned the weapon slot. Yeah, let's look We're going to have a kinetic weapon, an energy weapon, and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like fusion rifles and sniper rifles no! and grenade launchers. In that energy slot, in the kinetic <laughs> oh. slot, you can have the same weapons. So you can't run you can't run a sniper in a rocket launcher plan. anymore. It's designed to provide players with more freedom and more choice to use the stuff that they love. Snipers are gonna be power weapons, so you can't run a sniper and a rocket launcher at the same time. No, no, man. I'm not happy about that. Cast your super. I mean, there's plenty of time for the community to be upset everyone. enough that they can change can it back. Rain down but fire man. Projectiles that just decimate people. Not, no, not happy. No, 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 no. That's too bad, man. Sentinel is a titan. That is very, that is. Summon a shield that he can just knock his opponents out with. Ah, hurts me a little bit. Hurts me a little bit. And that's not good. That's not good for raids. Because raids, you need like the rocket launcher to take out the mobs, and then you need the sniper for the boss. They summon this mystical staff and wield it like you know a I mean? crazy acrobat, cracking enemies in the head. It's awesome. So either they need to change raid bosses or like something. Yeah, I don't know. Losing your home and being cast out, and the lengths that you go to to get it back. It's all tied together to be something that's really meaningful sense of starting mm -hmm. as an underdog and climbing to a great height is really fun. That's too bad. Destiny 2 is the place where we get to reach back. I guess we get to, uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, we get to drive vehicles and tanks. That gun looks cool. The new weapons look insane. I just want to be able to run a sniper and a rocket launcher at the same time. He said you can have the same weapons on energy slot. No, no, no. That, he's saying like, he's saying like you can have like a sidearm and then like an energy sidearm, you know what I mean? They said it, they said that you can have snipers in all slots. Shield can just bang it off the launcher. You and I. All new worlds to explore. Did they did they? Here, let me listen to the whole thing. Because every, everyone was telling me that you can't you can only have snipers or rock launchers. Destiny 2 is the place where we get to reach back out to everyone who could enjoy a They summon this. Okay, where is it? Where are the weapons? There's gonna be people talking to you. Let's bring them home, you and I. I really like that part. Worlds to explore. We've got cooperative strikes for three players, new nightfall strikes, and a brand new raid. In Destiny 2, we built you all new weapons, all new armor, and a pile of brand new exotics. We also redesigned the weapon slot. So they're gonna have a kinetic weapon, an energy weapon, and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like fusion rifles and sniper rifles and grenade launchers. In that energy slot and the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapons. The new weapon plan was designed to provide players with more freedom and more choice to use the stuff that they love. Each character has these new supers, and they're really they didn't say that at all. Deals to play the game. 
We have the Dawn Blade. They didn't say that at all. Snipers are, are power weapons. You can't put the power weapons in the. They're 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 saying that you can you can carry like the same weapons, as in like you can carry, a, you can carry like a pistol and then like an energy pistol, like the same, the same time. They started talking about supers there, so that's that's past what I'm worried about. Sentinel is a titan, and he is able to summon a shield that he can just knock his opponents out with. No, no, no. When, when they're saying when they're saying so you can have both, you're st they're like literally right when they say you can say you can have both. They were talking about the kinetic and the energy. Here, you can have the same weapons both, as in like the pistols. Watch, just watch the gameplay and listen to what he's saying at the same time. Energy weapon and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like talking about power weapons, sniper rifles. Power weapons. Talking about fusion rifle, fusion rifles, sniper rifles, and rocket launchers and grenade launchers, right? And grenade launcher in that energy slot and the in that energy slot so now he's talking about the energy slot so he's talking about slot number two now kinetic slot you can in the kinetic slot he's saying he's he's like in the inner so he's like okay we finished talking about that in the energy slot and the kinetic slot you can have the same weapons and then they show uh right uh, a energy hand cannon and then they show a kinetic hand cannon that's what they that's what they did look the same weapons the See, watch it again. They they, like they specifically they specifically finish talking about the power weapon slot, we built you and then they talk about the kinetergy and the kinetic. Armor, Just listen. And watch a pile of brand new exotics. We also redesigned the weapon slot. So they're gonna have a kinetic weapon, an energy weapon, and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like fusion rifles and sniper rifles and grenade launchers. In that energy slot and the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapons. So I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's what they're saying. Unless 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 I unless I'm interpreting that wrong. Because because basically basically if that if you he's saying what he if he's saying what you guys said he was saying, then like you would be able you would be able to have three sniper rifles. You've got your sword and you're flying over everyone and you can just rain down. Fire, Phoenix, projectiles this dude dumb AF. I, I like I think there's no there's no way that he's saying you can have three sniper rifles. No the best explainer, thank you. <laughs> dude, there are different types of snipers. I understand that there's kinetic or energy sniper rifles. I'm saying that they are making it doesn't matter. Rocket launchers are like kinetic or energy, but they're still gonna have them in the power weapon slot. That's what he's saying. <clears throat> He's, yeah, he's saying the energy and kinetic slot are inter interchangeable. They're not, he's not saying you can interchange the power weapons with the energy and kinetic. Or the, yeah, yeah the energy and kinetic. The idea of losing your home yeah. And being cast out okay. The so, uh, so are we all, are we on the same page aside for like the one or two people who aren't understanding? Are we all on the same page? Yes or no? <clears throat> Do you want me to call up someone who's playing the game right now and ask him? Because I will. I will call up Alan. I will call up Andrew. <laughs> yeah, so, it, like, either either it's what I'm saying is right, or if you're say if it's what you're saying is right, you can hold three sniper rifles, or three rocket launchers, or three grenade launchers, which is not going to be the case. You can, so it's gonna be it's gonna be like a pulse cannon, a hand cannon, pulse cannon, hand cannon, whatever else, and then the power weapons are gonna be separate from all that. Hey, are you guys ready to check these worlds out? <laughs> Three snipers won't be right. No, is right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that I I just wanted I just wanted to make sure that was that was clear because. <laughs> Why are people having trouble understanding? I, I understand. I understand. Like y how, how how you like misheard, but you, you like if you watch it again, they're very clearly talking about the kinetic and the energy or, uh, weapons being interchangeable. As in, you can have two hand cannons if you want to. Two hand cannons and then a rocket launcher. Could be your could be your call. <clears throat> Oh, well, that's upsetting. Trust me, trust me. I wish you were right. I wish you were right. I don't want to lose. I I don't want to lose my hand cannon sniper rocket launcher setup. I wish you were right, but that's not what they were saying. At least at least for the beginning of the game. Or that's how that's how it's gonna launch. 
I always love that the Destiny music is some of the best music though, dude. We are better. We will hold this line until the last civilian is safely away. Yeah, it, it really it really is gonna be like I don't know, I, I it's putting more it's putting more use on the most boring weapons to use, like and also that means in Crucible you're only gonna be able to snipe or rocket launch and only when you get heavy ammo. One or the other. I I, I just I'm just not a fan of that. Because I never ran shotguns. I literally not once in my entire lifetime did I run shotguns. I always ran snipers. So, I'm a little sad about that. I mean, obviously they still have time to change it and everything, and I hope they do. Uh, at least in that aspect, but. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. Overall, I'm really, really excited for this. Really, really happy that it turned out the way that it did, and it looks really, really good. And all the improvements are pretty awesome. So don't get me wrong. I'm still, I'm still very excited. I just, I'm just not happy about that change. But the speaker, he never made it. The speaker, he never made it. He never made it. We're on it, Commander. Alright, ran shotguns in Crucible sometimes. Yeah, sh shotguns were useful in Crucible, but I, I just I just didn't play much Crucible. I was more like, play for the raids, you know what I mean? Yeah, in raids, shotguns were like, useless on 90% of them. There's like 10% where you could, you could use shotguns, but even, I don't know. I don't know. Snipers are just more fun to use, but it's all good. <laughs> RIP speaker. Rest in peace, rest in peace, young prince. Wait, are shotguns a power weapon or no? Actually, I don't know. I would say no. He, wait, did he have a shotgun at some point? I don't think they ever showed first-person gameplay of the shotgun. It was all like cinematic gameplay with the shotgun, so we don't know. No idea. Now, if you can't have a sniper and a rocket launcher, what's your plan? I'm guessing I'm gonna take a... I guess I'm gonna take a scout rifle and a hand cannon. Or an auto rifle, depending on what's good in the game, obviously. I'll definitely have at least a hand cannon or a scout rifle in that second slot, just so I can have range. I don't know though. And then the first one will be, if the hand cannons and uh, scout rifles are really good, I'll just run two hand cannons and or uh, scout rifles. Yeah, I would say shotguns are not power weapons, but the, I, in my opinion, like if shotguns aren't power weapons, snipers shouldn't be either, but we'll see. Yeah, I know they showed shotguns, but they didn't they didn't show them like in first person, so we don't know what weapon slot they are. All right, guardian. Time to kick them where it hurts. <clears throat> oh, or I forgot about the minigun. So maybe I'll go scout rifle slot oh, and or hand cannon and then minigun. I forgot about the miniguns. The miniguns look pretty sick. They, they did show first person gameplay of the shotgun. Which weapon slot was it in? They have a flamethrower? Who has a flamethrower? You have a flamethrower? Okay, the shield generator should be at the bottom of the ship. Is the beta, is the beta data gonna, gonna save when the real game comes out? Probably not. It almost never does. Almost never does. The grenade launchers are just so strong, dude. Okay, what's your status? Uh, low on ammo. Dun, dun, dun. Do you have to pre-order the sword? I don't think so. They didn't announce anything about pre-orders, at least during the stream. I know as far as but does anyone know if my PS4 stuff will transfer? No, they're not tr transferring anything from Destiny 1. I don't think. At least nothing weapon related.
No, forget about swords. They're bringing them back as well. The hundred dollar pre-order gives you one. Did they announce pre pre-order stuff? Let me look. Let me look. Oh, here's the uh, here's the Destiny two. Here's the PC controls for anyone who's interested in this. Super ability. And it says um, they look fully remap remappable in the options menu. Crouch slide. I mean, pretty pretty standard controls. Mm. The shield Summon goes. WASD movement. Gr Q is grenade. E is melee attack. R is reload weapon. Class ability is V. Highlight player C. Oh, highlight player. What is that? Oh, is that the, like the select button? Your journey ends here. Yeah. Uh, Destiny 2 PC details. Here's uh, 4K resolution support, uncapped frame rate, full mouse and keyboard support with custom mapping, text chat, adjustable field of view, detailed PC setting screen, tw uh, 21 to 9 monitor support. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me back this up. Just so we can have some, some nice background footage while we're talking. Ooh, new screenshots. Hello. Hello. Um, let me see. Oh dang, this looks cool. So here's some here's some of the weapons that they have at the uh, event. That looks insane. That's an, I mean that's an exotic for sure. There's no way it's not. That looks insane. It's crazy looking. Um, why is this gameplay frozen? Reload, mother trucker. I'm trying to look for the uh, for the pre-order screen, uh, the pre-order information. Uh, details on our modes. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't. I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is new. Um, okay, so we have collector's edition. So this is the biggest, the biggest expansion pack you can have. Base game, uh, expansion pass get uh, expansion one and two, offering brand new. So uh, wealth of new weapons, armor, and gear. So expansion one and two. So you get the, the season pass. Basically, you get an actual physical bag, frontier kit, uh, premium digital content. You get a legendary sword, a legendary player emote, ca uh, Cabal Empire themed emblem. So you do get a legendary sword if you. Get the collector's edition. Let me see. Um, game plus expansion pass. Expansion pass. Limited edition. So if you get the limited edition. So this is on the pre-orders. Interesting. Interesting. The shield generator should be straight ahead. <clears throat> it's a spear, not a staff. What if, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Can we just watch the gameplay? Well, if, you, if you're if you here to just watch the gameplay, you're like super, super late, because we have been, we've watched the gameplay through like six or seven times now. So, you're, you're welcome to just watch the gameplay if you want, but. On your journey, you're gonna experience new yeah, let's missions. Go, let's go to the trailer. We we'll probably watch the trailer the least out of all of them. <clears throat> you're a bit late, mate. Is that all the intel that we have so far? I think that's all the intel we have so far. Ends. Yeah. 
Here. This enemy has taken our home. And now... I think that's all the intel that we have so far. So, uh, anyways guys, if you have enjoyed, if you could do me a huge, huge favor, and leave a like for Adpocalypse, hashtag Adpocalypse, in the chat, please. <laughs> um, look at the gameplay trailer, there's beta info. Did they actually put the bait, put the trailer up somewhere? Oh yeah, they did. Let me see. Uh, Pre-order. The game comes out September eighth. No, there's no, there's no beta information. It just says beta access. That's all. Um. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to about wrap it up for me. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for being here. I'm super, super excited for the game. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna freeze on this sword slash. Just gonna get missed it completely. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. Uh, thank you all for tuning in to the reveal. Make sure you subscribe because uh, we'll be obviously playing on any more uh, releases or beta stuff. Um, and obviously, we're gonna be playing the crap out of the game on this channel and streaming it. Whenever, uh, whenever it comes out. So, we're gonna go ahead and end it there. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for tuning in. See you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Adios.